you go out and profess to, to be thinking about how to build buildings in the future and how to live and stewardship, you, meet, you get to meet some really interesting people. So this is a photograph by a, a photographer named Kenro Izo who went to Cambodia to film the Angkor Wat temples and was astonished by the state of healthcare in uh, Cambodia. And he started a hospital. He basically came back and said that he, could, he would speak in these terms, that when he takes one of his pictures, he's an artist, photographer, when he takes one of his pictures, he's capturing some, some love from that place. And he couldn't sell it, make profit, when this country was so much in need. So he came back and sold that series of uh, photographs. And he raised $300,000. And two of his friends said, Kenro, if you're going to put $300,000 towards this hospital, we'll each put $300,000. And he started a new hospital for children in Cambodia with $900,000. And he wanted the story to get out that he knows not he knew nothing about health care. He knew nothing about not-for-profits. It only took one person who cared to try to make a difference. And then he approached us and asked asked us if we'd help him get the story out. And we designed this little building um, in Siem Reap next to the hospital to get the word out. Um, this is now up and running in Siem Reap. And uh, it's got just a tiny little square in the middle that has rainwater capture into it. The uh, Khmer at one time were one of the most advanced cultures on Earth. There are some scholars who say the temple complex at Angkor Wat, if you, look, if you take into account the hydraulics, is by far the largest temple complex on Earth. And so much was lost with the, um, with the horror of the Pol Pot years. Um, I think there's something like only 17 doctors survived the Pol Pot years. They started over from, uh, from ground zero. Um, and that led, <laughs> in a kind of crazy way, to uh, a biofuels project that we were interested in. And we were trying to take Kenro's idea of loving fellow man with the health care that was being provided for children, with getting the word out. And uh, there's a, a high oil nut content plant called Jatropha curcus. And uh, in Cambodia, it's called Lahang Kwang. And so we started this biofuels project to press this nut oil, use it in lieu of uh, diesel fuel. So much of the developing world is powered by diesel-powered gensets, which then make the people sick, which then go to the hospital. It seemed like a terrible cycle. And we were hoping to break that. And the way these things go, um, we planted a plantation. We got half the refinery in through the tyranny of distance and language and corruption. Everything completely imploded. And in fact, what happened was there was a birth with the birth of a consumer nation, which was kind of horrifying to, to watch. Um, there was also a birth of waste products, which never existed. In, in Cambodia. Everybody used waste cooking oils over and over and over again. But the restaurants were producing waste cooking oil so quickly, based on the standard of care for the tourist industry, that there was a new uh, waste oil product that was easier to process than Jatropha. And we now have uh, a biofuels project up and being refined using waste vegetable oils that's providing all of the power for the uh, visitor center, fueling all of their vehicles in both the Anger Hospital for Children and the Sinuk Hospital Center of Hope, the best adult care hospital in uh, Phnom Penh.